What you guys got another video here for you on VPN services. Now, do you use a VPN service and what VPN service do I use and what do I recommend? Now, you'll probably notice that I don't uh, recommend or promote any VPN services on my channel with a link there. And the reason for that is because I'm not affiliated with any VPN service. That means I'm not pimping any VPN service to you guys which means I've got your back. A lot of YouTubers out there that promote VPN services are only doing it for one reason and one reason only, and that is for revenue. They will get a big chunk of money for recommending that VPN service to you. Now, during the review, they'll probably say things like, your ISP will not know what you're doing on the internet, and you can surf the internet and do whatever you like anonymously without anyone knowing what you're doing, because the VPN service doesn't keep any logs. Well, how would you know that VPN service doesn't keep any logs? So how would you verify that that company doesn't keep logs? Well, most of the VPN companies have actually given people up at some point to authorities for criminal activity. There is no real way of verifying whether they keep logs or not. Now, most of the big uh, VPN companies out there have given people up at some point with some sort of information to prosecute those people for doing criminal activity on their VPN. Now, if they don't keep any type of logs, how would that be possible? You don't think that a VPN company is going to protect you and ruin their business for a sake of you know five dollars a month it's just not going to happen there's no way that they will put themselves at risk for they let you run free on the internet and do whatever you like without monitoring or logging some sort of activity that you're up to on the internet now it's in the vpn provider's best interest to log as much user information as possible and the reason for that is if any user was committing any sort of criminal activity while using uh, that vpn service and the authorities come knocking it's in their interest to have logs to produce to the authorities to to put the blame on you and then protect their business you don't think they're going to give you a complete anonymity on the internet for five dollars a month it's just not going to happen so people will be committing all sorts of stuff on there which will be breaking the law and they would end up uh, being brought to book and probably cost them an absolute fortune in legal costs so it's in their interest to protect themselves by monitoring and keeping some sort of logs also it's impossible to manage and monitor any sort of network system across the world in many different countries and try to make sure that those servers are running correctly properly and you're getting the correct internet speed and that would mean by keeping logs or keeping some sort of data for people connecting and disconnecting you would have to know what's going on otherwise how would you know that there's a problem if you don't keep any sort of information for that network it's just impossible to know so also Again, a lot of these VPN companies don't own all these networks. What they do is they rent them. And of course, if they're renting them, that means they don't own them servers. And that means that they have no control over what is going on to that server and what is kept. Another thing is a lot of these VPN companies will keep data for a period of time and then wipe that data after about a month or three months or two months or whatever it is uh, no one really knows the only people that know what goes on in these VPN companies is the VPN company themselves and the people that are owning the servers so if a VPN company tells you you will be completely anonymous online uh, because you're running a VPN then they're lying to you now there's no VPN service out there that will allow you to sign up completely anonymous because you have to give them some sort of information, your name, either your address, or whether it be a payment card, they'll use some way to track it back to you. That might be your email address or something like that. There'll be some paper trail back to you, so it'll be impossible for you to go there and sign up completely anonymous without anyone knowing that you're using that VPN. Every time you log on to that VPN, your IP is being logged. Now, whether they say it's not, it more than likely is. So let's just say you're connecting to your VPN to do whatever you need to do and then you disconnect from your VPN. That will be logged on your ISP. They will know that you've been connected to a VPN from that time 
to this time. They might not be able to see what you've been doing, but they'll know that you've been uh, connected to a VPN at that point to this point. It's that simple. So you can't hide even from your ISP. Now, another big problem with VPNs is the more security you add to that VPN service, the slower the internet speed is. So if you are paying for a really fast broadband connection, you are going to literally cripple that internet connection by using a, a VPN service. It's going to be restricted by vast amounts by using that uh, VPN service. I've even seen people saying they connect to a Tor browser after connecting via VPN just to be even more uh, secure. Well, that internet speed must be as fast as dial-up speed. It really must be slow. So don't read into all the super fast speeds. It's not super fast speeds. It's pretty slow at the best of times. So you have to sort of ask yourself, what do you actually want a VPN for? Now, if you're looking to completely be invisible on the internet, then sorry to be the bearer of bad news, that is not possible. Another thing is that you might want to be invisible to your ISP. And yes, you can use a VPN service to be invisible from your ISP to a degree, but then you're trusting uh, some VPN company over your ISP to monitor your data which, to be honest, is absolutely madness. Now, if you're looking to be completely invisible to the government and doing some sort of shady stuff on the internet, then you're going to find out very soon that they're going to be crashing through your front door at probably three o'clock in the morning, and you're going to end up in handcuffs. I just think there's so much misinformation on the internet where people say that you'll be 100% anonymous when you're surfing the web. No one will know what you're doing. And of course, the VPN companies themselves will emphasize this on their website saying that you are completely anonymous uh, no one keeps any logs so you can do whatever you like and basically they're telling you exactly what you want to hear just to make a sell on their vpn service now a lot of these vpn companies come under the five eyes or nine eyes or 14 eyes alliance treaty which means they're not that safe to use and they're some of the big vpn companies out there that are based in the united states how can you be safe using a VPN company that is based in the United States. It doesn't make sense. Now you may also see that companies will use uh, servers that are not based in a particular type of country under the five eyes, nine eyes or 14 eyes, which means they think they are safe. But sometimes that data is going through on the return through a five eyes or a nine eyes or a 14 eyes country, which then makes it not so safe. I just think a lot of these VPN companies when they create their websites are just putting up a bunch of stuff which is to try and convince you to go and sign up to them and there's also a lot of people that are promoting them that are doing exactly the same thing i.e. no government surveillance, uh, political activist, using of file sharing services and stuff like that so basically people read this and they think they can use these VPNs and get away with this particular type of behavior. So there really is no best VPN out there. You can go to 101 different websites and I can guarantee you they're all have the different top five VPNs and they're all probably created by them VPN companies themselves. They also write loads of glorious articles out there saying how uh, secure it is, how fast it is, how they don't keep logs and all this sort of stuff. It's all created by the uh, VPN companies themselves to try and sell ice to the Eskimos. That's what they're trying to do. But if you really do need a VPN and you want one, then do a bit of research, use a bit of common sense and go into it with an open mind, understanding the fact that you are not invisible and uh, you have got no guarantee that there is no data being collected on your activities online and most of those VPN companies have given up people in the past. Just do a bit of research on it. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. I hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.